Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to talk about Temtem. And what is Temtem? Temtem is a game that is being developed right now that I am super hyped for. You know, forget I made a video a couple weeks back talking about how exhausting it is, you know, being hyped for games. Um, you know, but but for real, it does get exhausting being hyped for games, especially when uh, they're not going to come out for a while. But I can't I can't stop myself from being hyped, especially for this game. And what is this game? Well, this game is Temtem, and I'm assuming I'm pronoun pronouncing it correctly. If I'm not, let me know in the comments down below so I can bite that habit as soon as possible. Um, but it is a massively multiplayer creature collection adventure. So it is pretty much like the title says, it is going to be hopefully the first good modern Pokemon experience that also has online. That's pretty awesome. You're not only, you know, there's been a couple good fan-made, uh, you know, Pokemon games, but nothing like super modern and fresh and original uh, and has like a really chance to flourish because every fan game, it kind of has to be quiet because, you know, they're going to get cease and desists and stuff like that. Um, and there's a couple questions right off the bat that a lot of people are going to be skeptical about and I fully understand it. I was at first until I did research, kind of why I wanted to make this video um, you know my friends were even kind of making fun of me how quickly I uh, you know kind of got on the temtem board um, but it was because I did this research and I, I wanted to explain kind of in this video um, some things I learned about temtem and once again if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly definitely let me know as soon as possible um, but the first thing is is a lot of people are going to say well this is an MMO trying to make money on Kickstarter that has never worked that is never there's never been a super successful MMO that has to go to uh, Kickstarter because, um, you know, they're not going to have funds. One of my friends even said when he was talking about it, he was like, you know, the problem with stuff like this is is if they don't have enough money to fund the game to begin with, they're not going to have a mo the money, even if they have a success you know, successful Kickstarter to fully fund the game and the servers and stuff like that and support the game in the future because MMOs are all about, you know, kind of supporting the game for a long, a long time, um, hopefully for as long as possible. And, um, you know, they do address this in the Kickstarter. Um, first of all, um, they are the developers of a game called Immortal Redneck. And if you don't know what Immortal Redneck is, is it is a first-person shooter roguelike uh, game. And it's actually, I think, one of the best first-person shooter roguelike games. A lot of, you know, kind of developers try to tackle the whole, oh, what if we did a first-person shooter roguelike? Um, and most of them aren't that great, but Immortal Redneck is actually really good. And it's easily, I think, the out of the ones I've played, the best uh, first-person shooter roguelike. And that game was really successful. They made a lot of money off of that. Um, but obviously, making an MMO is a whole bigger thing. But they do, in the Kickstarter, say... Um, that this isn't like a full-on huge gigantic MMO, you know, not like World of Warcraft where you have guilds and dungeons and, you know, end game raids and, you know, all these different skill trees and stuff like that. It, it literally, you know, it, it has its main campaign story mode and then it's, it has its multiplayer parts, including, you know, battling other people. But an MMO like this isn't as involved as, say, World of Warcraft or something. And a lot of thing I say is e even knowing all of that, uh, it's, it's very easy to still be skeptical. And one of the reasons that, uh, I, f one of the main reasons I stopped being skeptical, at least for the most part, obviously I still have my doubts here and there, um, but is the fact that it is made by very credible devs. The game that they made in the past was spectacular. They kept updating it even after it came out. It's an amazing quality. I've had no issues with it. I know it's really popular on Steam, um, because it's a good game. It's, it's easily one of the best first person shooter roguelike games. So, those developers are the ones making this game. It's not some random person that hasn't proven themselves in the gaming industry. This, these devs, Cream or Crema, mispronouncing things a million times here in this video, um, but they're the ones making this game, and they do have a good track record. And so, you know, one thing that everyone, you know, also a lot of people were asking is, why don't you just go play the new Pokemon game? You know, Sun and Moon is technically the new Pokemon game as of recording this video. Um, and Sun and Moon, I was really excited for. I really wanted to hop back into the Pokemon franchise, and um, Sun and Moon really disappointed me because four hours into the game, I still felt like I was in, t in a tutorial. Um, the game just felt it like it took... It, it was, like, way too easy, and the battles took way too long. The animations were just super long, um, and I just had a lot of issues with it, so I couldn't really get into it. But, um, you know, besides that, a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, why don't you just go play, like, a fan-made, you know, Pokemon game? And the problem with that, like I said, is, you know... It, 
those are really small that have to worry about cease and desists and you know kind of stuff like that and that brings us into our another skeptical point a lot of people are going to be thinking and that is isn't this game just going to get a cease and desist and the answer is no because supposedly if we are believing these developers which i am right now i have no reason not to believe them because they've been nothing but credible and good to me um is they have explained that before they even started developing this game they uh made the proper legal you know precautions um kind of making sure that they wouldn't spend all this time and work and money and effort into a game that just just you know gets a cease and desist um so they already know what they can do they already know what they can't do um and the game actually itself looks very similar to pokemon I, i'm surprised like even seeing like the evolution kind of stage it, it's just straight up looks like pokemon but the art style is very unique and it looks very cute um and very it just feels like a really lively uh loving world and that's really really great for these type of games so uh you know those are kind of the original skeptical things um that i was worried about um one of the smaller ones i had was i immediately looked through all of the uh kind of tier lists of donating um to the kickstarter you know the different kind of reward tiers and i was looking for something like pay to win because if there was going to be like a temtem that you couldn't get um you know without backing like five hundred dollars i was gonna have a problem with that and for the most part that doesn't exist that's good um the one thing i am kind of worried about is they have at the 350 dollar tier uh they have or sorry not the 350 dollar tier it is the uh 700 dollar tier they have guardian which is get the three starter temtem in their luma variations the cho your chosen starter will be the luma you will receive the other two luma starters later in the game you will also get an exclusive in-game title so what are those luma things you know because that seems pretty important if if you can't get those starter lumas you know what it what kind of is that and they have on their faq they have what is a luma tempton and this is a luma tempton is a specific tempton with a different coloration to what is usual for its species this also uh they also feature a unique set of special effects surrounding them including sparkles or a bright trail when running luma tempton are very rare to see in the wild so they are very appreciated between tamers and uh you know that doesn't sound very bad it kind of sucks that you know they're very rare but you know at least you'll be able to collect them and then I found out that it said somewhere um, that Temtems will always have, like, two of their stats perfected. Um, because, you know, like, in Pokemon you have, like, the EVs or whatever they're called. And you try to, like, keep on breeding or catching Pokemon until you can get perfect EVs. So I'm assuming that's going to be a part of this game. Um, but the Temtem are just going to already have two. So I do have a little pay-to-win issue there. Um, but it's not nearly as bad um, because it's very minor. And um, it's going to be something that hopefully you'll be able to obtain. But it still is kind of... To like irking me a little bit uh, especially since it's something like a $700 tier goal but hopefully that means that um, you know not many people are going to um, jump for it so it's not going to feel as bad like as of right now as of recording this only seven people have backed that $700 one out of 3031 backers so that that's pretty much that but you know going past all of my worries and speculations and you know questions I had I kind of wanted to also just explain what this game is in detail uh, kind of the features they're advertising on their Kickstarter and Steam page um, and you know just kind of go ahead and talk about it because uh, that's that's good that's good right um and you know obviously instead of in a pokeball because uh, that would probably be going too far uh they kind of get caught on cards so you have different little cards that like kind of clip in and go in squares looks really cool in the trailer um so that's kind of how you catch them you obviously have your whole combat wheel of you know well toxic beats you know fighting and water and uh you know earth will beat uh, electric and fire and wind and so you got your whole stuff like that uh, one thing that's very very interesting though is combat is focused on 2v2 and that's something very different from pokemon because pokemon although you know it has 2v2s it's primarily 1v1 um so whether they did that because uh you know they needed to be very different from you know pokemon or if they did it because they actually wanted to um we'll have to see but it seems very interesting especially if there's a lot of interactions and buffing between you know temtem and that could be a really awesome thing about uh str strategizing uh then you have breeding and breeding is the same way it works in you know uh 
most likely in Pokemon and Temtem. But one thing that's interesting is it says, but don't overbreed your Temtem. Each Temtem will have a genetic de degradation, probably mispronouncing that as well, a uh, value that will lower each time a new egg is produced. So you can only breed a specific amount of times. Genetic degradation will also be inherited by the new Temtem, so you'll need to plan beforehand how you're going to spend the features. Um, so that's very interesting um, because it's going to kind of limit stuff like that. Uh, then it has a full story campaign. So like I said, not only is this just an MMO, but it also is like a primary Pokemon uh, experience single player thing. This says journey across six vivid islands and embark on the adventure of becoming a Temtem Tamer. Um, you know, and all that good stuff. It has the whole online world that you're hoping with an MMO, but also something that's awesome is a co-op adventure. Uh, Temtem's campaign will be fully co-op compatible. You'll be able to join forces with a friend at any time and work together towards your next goal. Catch new Temtem, complete a route, or face off against a Temtem leader, all while fighting alongside your friend in dual battles. So that probably means you both pick one single Temtem. Then you have housing, which is, you know, your typical house. You can buy furniture, decorations, kind of, you know, do all that stuff, customize your own character. Um, and then competitive, which is what they seem to be really focusing on which is really cool is temtem battles are the most important aspect of every new tamer's job competitive battles take it up a notch and let you battle other tamers with similar skill level begin to plan your strategy even before the battle with a pick and ban phase and escalated um and escalate the ranked ladder so there's going to be a ranked matchmaking system and there's going to be a pick ban system so you say you have like your 10 temptin and the other person has their temp Tempton, that's a tongue twister. Um, you'll have a kind of pick and ban system, which is very, very interesting. Um, so, uh, you know, then they go into detail about the different cultures and kind of stuff like that. Um, but personally, me, myself, um, as much as I want to pledge a million billion dollars into this game, uh, I only pledged $30, which was the least amount of money to get into the alpha, because um, that's the earliest that it's going to be playable. It has a couple, you know, you get like a Kickstarter exclusive cap. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You get access to the Alpha Discord. Um, but I just wanted it because I want to play this game as soon as possible because I am super hyped about the game. And uh, I hope you are too. I hope this is very successful. I hope this game turns out to be amazing. Um, and I'm going to definitely keep my eyes on it, especially since I am backing it on Kickstarter. Um, you know, and I'm not saying you should too. I'm not trying to like advertise this game. I'm just saying I am hyped for this game. Um, and, uh, you know, Crema, if you want to sponsor me, uh, sure. It's an open, open book <laughs> um, but no but for real uh, i just find it really interesting it's re it really appeals to what i've been wanting kind of in po i've always really enjoyed the concept of pokemon almost more than the games um so whether it's for battling or for just collecting and trying to catch them all uh, you know, it'll be really fun to see how this game turns out. But overall, I was just really hyped about this game and I wanted to make a video about it because I just recently found out about it and learned and did all this research on it. But overall, that's my take on Temtem. Uh, what did, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. You know, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you think it actually looks good or if you're skeptical or, you know, whatever about that. Because uh, part of the fun of making these videos is not only talking at you guys, but the conversation that comes afterwards. Uh, but like always, uh, new videos come out every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to catch those new videos. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and see you guys next time.